I own a Chinese 3040T CNC with a 400 watt DC spindle. Last week, after about 50 hours of use, the spindle stopped working. I'll put a video out soon tearing down the spindle to figure out what happened. Check the card here to see that video. The replacement I got is a 110 volt 1.5 kilowatt spindle along with a 110 volt 1.5 kilowatt HY VFD. You can find these almost anywhere online, but I'll put a link to a specific Amazon page in the description. At the time of this video's release, the link is no longer selling the product, but surprisingly the viewers left a lot of information that can help you set up the VFD. As a quick note, I would have preferred to get a 220 volt system, but my garage doesn't have a 220 volt circuit. To start setting the system up, first verify that the VFD and motor you're working with matches mine. Once this is done, wire the VFD to a wall plug. I picked up 25 foot of 16 gauge stranded wire from Home Depot to use for both the VFD power supply and the spindle power lines. I cut a length for a VFD line and installed a plug, being sure to attach the white, black, and green wires as shown. Now inside the VFD, you can see that I've attached the hot to R, the neutral to T, and the ground to ground. At this point, you can also wire up the spindle. Right now I'm using the wire that came with the kit, which is why it's different colors. This wire is too short to actually use, so I'll be replacing that when I install the spindle on the machine. I'll link to that video as well when I release it. The order of these three wires does not matter. Here you can see how I have them arranged. If you arrange them differently, the worst thing that will happen is the spindle could turn backwards. There is a reverse button on the VFD, but if you want to fix it in the wiring, all you have to do is swap any two of the wires. Lastly, verify that this little jumper is connected to the VR pin. This allows you to control the spindle speed using the dial on the front of the machine rather than a voltage input. Now I'll quickly talk about programming. Trust me, if you're new to VFDs like me, don't worry. It's really not as bad as it sounds. Plug in the system to power it up. It may take 10 to 15 seconds to turn on. Don't lose your cool if it takes longer than you think it should. Though if you start seeing smoke, you might want to consider unplugging it. Now that the power is on, click program. You can use set as your action button and shift to move the cursor around. Feel free to pause the video at each step to see what settings I'm using. These settings will not only set up your VFD for the spindle, but also tell the machine that you want to control the spindle power and speed here at the VFD rather than as an input from your controller. I'll go over how to set up the VFD for automatic control from the CNC's controller in another video. Again, if you want to know what each one of these settings do, check the Amazon link in the description or read the manual that comes with the VFD. I don't get anything from this link, it's really just a good resource. With that data entered, all you have to do is turn the dial up off zero and press start. The spindle should turn on and ramp up. If you aren't seeing RPMs, press the shift button and you can change the view until you find it. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.